The FBI's director confirmed it to Congress this week. We've done it in Baltimore. We did it in Ferguson, as I recall. Using sophisticated surveillance aircraft if a city requests help. Through a Freedom of Information request, the ACLU obtained documents detailing the FBI's surveillance during the riots and protests in April. Ten flights and 36 hours of surveillance over Baltimore. The American people um, need to and deserve to know uh, what kind of surveillance technologies um, are being deployed on us. We are not the enemy. According to the FBI documents it got, the ACLU says the aircraft over Baltimore had night vision and infrared capabilities, and the FBI is holding on to the video. The ACLU says the FBI redacted information about all of the technologies used during these flights that are perhaps more sensitive and powerful. If these um, technologies are being used to potentially record the identities of people who are attending um, peaceful, lawful, First Amendment protected protests, that would be of great concern. Pressed by Congress about Fourth Amendment privacy concerns with these flights, FBI Director James Comey says the type of surveillance in Baltimore was to monitor a developing situation and help police. If you were putting technology on an FBI aircraft that had Fourth Amendment implications, that is, that it was uh, reaching someone's communications or looking within a dwelling or something like that, it would have Fourth Amendment implications. But that, that's not what we use the aircraft for. And the FBI tells 11 News tonight its infrared cameras cannot identify, quote, heat signatures through a solid object. And it tells us it did not use Stingray technology during the Baltimore flights. Stingray can collect cell phone data in seconds over a wide area. The FBI director also told Congress it gets a warrant when it uses that technology. We're live in the newsroom. George Lattis, WBAL, TV 11 News.